welcome to Southampton University. Well, as you can see from what I'm wearing, we're working in sterile laboratory conditions here for this experiment to show the antimicrobial qualities of copper. Well, what we hope to show you is that the sort of bugs and in, that cause infections in hospitals will die off within minutes of being in contact with copper, whereas they may survive for up to weeks or even months on stainless steel. So does that mean then that what the surface is made of can make a difference? It very much so. Is, is the surface hard and non-absorbent? Is the surface absorbent? We know, for example, that um, stainless steel and plastics, um, hard surfaces which germs can survive on for weeks and months, whereas on copper, our research suggests they die very quickly. So, so we've set up an experiment for you where we're going to inoculate surfaces. We will compare stainless steel against copper and hopefully what we can show you is that the bacteria will survive very well on stainless steel but using a special dye system we will show that they die very quickly on copper. Well what we're going to do is we're going to take the notorious MRSA bug and we're going to put 10 million of the cells on stainless steel, 10 million of the cells on copper and what we hope to show you is that they live very happily on the stainless steel but they die rapidly on the copper. So it's just two minutes into the experiment. Let's take a look at the screens that are linked to those microscopes and see what difference we can see at this point. So, Professor Keeble, talk us through what you see. Well, you can see lots of brightly stained bacteria on the stainless steel surface. So, so not much change there. Not much change there. Copper? And here's the copper surface. May not look too different to you, but in fact, if you look very carefully, we're just starting to see some of the cells beginning to fade out. So these would be the first signs that they're starting to die on copper. So it's incredibly quick. Yes. So we're now coming up to six minutes into the experiment and let's have a look at our screens again. So stainless steel, Professor Keeble, a lot of microbes there. Yes, you can see they're still as bright as at the start of the experiment. So and no copper? Input. And on this one you can see they're even paler. So very few cells surviving now on the copper surface, even though we put 10 million on there to start with. We'll be coming up to nine minutes now. Let's look at the screens linked to those microscopes. And this is stainless steel, and Professor Keeble still looking full of MRSA microbes. Yes, they're still surviving very nicely on the stainless steel. When you say very nicely, how long will they stay there for now? Oh, they could be there for days or weeks. Days or weeks, let's yes. look at copper. Well, I think now we're struggling to see anything on this image showing that the bacteria have all died off on the copper surface. And does it have to be pure copper, in fact, or can it be an alloy? No, a range of alloys, including brass, work very nicely to kill MRSA and other of the superbugs. And in fact, these alloys have now been approved as antimicrobial surfaces by a US government agency.